what is up people i trust and believe that all is well on your side i just want us to look at this video from this very beautiful black sister who is talking about black excellence and why she has a problem with that black excellence whole nonsense well i need us to watch this video and then i'll come back with my commentary as a black person i'm afraid to admit that i don't like the idea of black excellence at all i think it's so toxic and i feel like it's something that we should all ditch because I feel like when it comes to being black excellent, I know where it comes from. I know why black people feel like they have to be like that. I get it. But I have started living my life where I'm like, I don't have to be excellent. Because to be excellent is to literally break your back. Do everything perfect. Adding this, doing that, doing this, and doing that. It's just so many different things that you have to do to be excellent. And you have to go above and beyond. And I'm like, you know what? I, I, that's fine. Everybody can keep that because I'm just going to do what is for me and i'm going to do the best that i can when it comes to achieving my goals and the things that i want for myself and i believe in the universe and god like what is meant for me i will get it i don't have to break my back to get that it's gonna come for me i'm just going to do the work that needs to be done to get there but if if if, if it means that i have to go above and beyond and get like a master's degree do this do that have all these different things i'm not gonna do it because i believe in just living life is just supposed to be just a chill life we're not we're, we're not supposed to be working we're not, okay? I don't I don't like back breaking anything. I'm just going to live my life how it is. I'm gonna do the best. If if that comes off as mediocre to people, it is what it is. Black excellence is very much damaging and toxic to to black people. And I no longer will participate in trying to look good for the white white people, the white man. Like I'm just not going to I'm not going to make myself try to be appealing to the world so I can be more digestible. I'm just going to live life being me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's it. Whatever you're going to expect from me as a black person, if that's what you expect, you better move on because that's not me. Guys, I just love what she said. Everything she said, perfect for me. <laughs> it's the kind of perfection that she doesn't want, you know, for black people. Black excellence, I think it's just a notion to make black people to keep on thinking and feeling that we are not good enough. You know, once you view others as excellent you know we have the ones who have excelled in life this is the kind of lifestyle that they are they are living you know because they went to school they got their degrees even went on to get their phds you know now they are living this kind of lifestyle this is the kind of standards that they are set, setting for society then it becomes very damaging to the rest of the black society or the black people who are not in that same level because it means you are not good it means the skill that you have the skill that your forefathers you know gave you is not good enough because unless you have this kind of qualification or kind of degree then you are not good enough then you are not part of the excellent black people in the society and do we even have white excellence or asian excellence or whatever excellence you know is it only for black people that we need to be grouped into excellent and non-excellent and stupid and i don't know what it is so degrading and it leads a lot of people to be so much into depression because if you fail in your career and you find yourself now not being able to achieve the kind of standard that is seen as black excellence then you'll have a big problem in society because now you start feeling like you know i'm not good enough i'm now just you know the normal like the rest of the other black people so it's something th these are the kind of things that we should not really be encouraging as black people because they are very much damaging and brings it brings us a lot of depression in society and in our communities well i think we had people who were richer well in the olden day society of african people for example we did have guys who had a lot of cows you know they had a lot of goats a lot of sheep and those were the kind of people that were looked at and seen as the rich guys in the you know in society but i don't think they were in any way put in that place where they are now the excellent class of society or they were now given this you know societal standard because when i look at it i know that those the, the people who were very wise especially our traditional healers people who were very intelligent those are the kind of people that the society would go and you know consult those are the kind of people who were given like very high standards in society because they had knowledge they had you know even skills that you could learn from you they could teach the the, the younger generation things that nobody else or the rest of the guys don't know so in terms of just your wealth and everything like that i don't know if we really were to were grouping ourselves as the excellent ones you know the rich ones and the rest of you are just nonsense but i wouldn't encourage us to give each other those kind of 
you know, labels of black excellence because you've made it in life. It's just too much pressure. We need to be living life the way that God has given us, the way our ancestors are guiding us to live it, and the way that we see fulfilling in our lives. Otherwise, it's just going to be so damaging to us as the black race. Guys, let me know what you think about it. And for some people who, are, who might have not had the experience, for example, of working, you know, in a community with white people, I don't think you'd resonate with this sister because if you have been in that kind of community as a black person, you will feel like, well, I need to get myself a master's degree so that I can have, you know, the same level or I can be seen as somebody who is competent in this space. Otherwise, with just my diploma or degree or my, you know, undergrad degree, you can even feel the kind of, you know, acceptance and you, you can literally feel it. So unless you have been in that environment, I don't think that really black excellence to you would make so much sense. So let me, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think about black excellence? Should we really encourage it or we should guard against it for the sake of our own peace, for the sake of our own mental stability? I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.